Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is for the full moon in Aquarius. This is supposed to be a fun, loving full moon. It's supposed to help us to cultivate togetherness, working together for the greater good, friendship, relationship. So today's practice, we're gonna be doing poses that help to stimulate the sacral chakra and the heart chakra, which help us in our relationships. So for today's hand mudra, we're going to start with the Bharata Mudra. And it's supposed to help with compassion, charity, and sincerity, which is great for friendship and relationship and community. So let's get, start in, get started in an easy seated position. Our hands are going to rest in our lap. Keep your right hand rested in your lap. Let your left hand come over towards your left knee. We want our palm facing outward and our fingertips facing down. We'll just start with some breath. So you can close your eyes down. Now let's take a few deep breaths, starting by inhaling through the nose. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. And come back to your breath, your natural breath. And if you want to set an affirmation or an intention for this full moon, you can do that now. And that may start with I am, I will, or I choose. Breathing that in. And exhale. This full moon is supposed to be about relationship and community and working together for the greater good. While during this practice, we're going to focus on working, on being our best selves or our better selves so we can contribute to that sense of community and all things good in the world. One more deep inhale. And exhale. You can release your hands, rest them on your knees, and we're just going to start stirring the body towards the right. So kind of moving your spine around in a circle. Your chest opens as you move forward and inhale. Your spine rounds as you move backward and exhale. Go the other way. I'm recording this video early in the morning, so my apologies if it's a little dark. Usually as the sun comes up, it starts to get a little more light in here. Let's do a couple more times to the left.
come back to a neutral spine. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Interlace the fingers as you press them towards the sky. Nice and tall seat. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up and over. Gaze can come up towards the sky. Maybe the right forearm rests down on the mat if that feels okay. Opening our heart here, gaze up. Uh, inhale, come through the center. Exhale, lower left hand down, right arm up and over. Gaze lifts towards the sky. Inhale, come back to center. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand on the outside of right knee. Right fingertips face the back wall and bring your gaze over the back shoulder. Inhale. Come back up to the center, interlace the fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand on the outside of left knee. Left fingertips face the back wall. Let your gaze follow. Good. Inhale back to center. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, release the hands. We'll roll up to hands and knees. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, fingers spread wide. Rotate the eyes of the elbows forward. Let's work into Marjariyasana and Bidalasana or Cat Cow. We'll take an inhale, flip the tailbone upward, lift the chin, arch the spine, press into those hands, open the chest. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round the spine, bring the chin down to the chest. Let's move in and out of those two positions with our breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. One more time. Good. Back to a neutral spine. Let's step the right foot up outside of the right hand. And we're just going to move our hips around in a circle. Warming up the hips. Already starting to open up the sacral chakra. Inhale, exhale, right foot steps back to table. Left foot steps outside the left hand. Move around in a circle. table position step the left foot back big toes together knees wide hips float back towards the heels for child's pose extend those arms out in front let your chest melt down towards your mat forehead can rest down Take an inhale, exhale, float the body forward, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back. Let's come to our first 
down dog. We'll pedal the feet out, bending each knee. You can also bring your heels over to one side. It's like a little twist here. And then the other. And then bring your gaze up in between your hands. Bend your knees. Step or jump your feet up behind the hands. Let's take an inhale. Place the hands on the shins for a half lift. Neck in line with the spine. Flat tabletop back here. Exhale, fall down to a fourth fold. Good. Let's bring a deep bend in the knees. Roll up to standing. Chin comes to the chest. Bring those arms with you. Let them lift. Hands me up above you. Still a small back bend here, opening the heart. Reach back. Exhale the hands to heart center. Bring your hands down to your sides. Come to mountain pose. Just taking a couple breaths here in our mountain pose. Let those knees be soft. Palms facing outward. Shoulders relaxed. Good. Let's sweep the arms up again. Inhale. Exhale, dive down to a forward fold. Step back with the left foot, landing on the back toe, and then bring your right knee to a line over your ankle. And let your feet be about hips distance apart. We're gonna come up to a high lunge or crescent lunge. Sweep those arms up. And for this one, let the hands meet. If you can, bring your gaze up towards the hands. Maybe reach back. That's optional. Inhale. Exhale, separate the hands, shoulder distance apart, and we're gonna lower down to the back knee. And you can just bring your hands to heart center for a moment, or you can rest the hands above the right knee to give you a little bit more support. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna start to twist to the right side so your arms can come out wide or your hand can rest down if you need some more support but we're twisting to the right opening the chest to the right good now from here we're going to lower this back hand down on the back leg left arm comes up and back if that's not comfortable stay in the position you're in see if you can open the heart and reach back with this left hand Good, inhale, exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the foot. Let that back toe tuck under as you lift off of the back knee, stepping the right foot up to meet the left, I'm sorry, stepping the left foot up to meet the right. And then we'll place our hands on the shins, come up to a half lift, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Good. From here, you can stay in your forward fold. If you want to add a vinyasa, let's do that now. Planting our hands down in front of the feet. Step or jump back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way for chaturanga. Elbows tucked in tight. Inhale, cobra or up dog. If you're in up dog, elbows straight, hips off the ground. If you're in cobra, you're down low. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips up and back, come back to down dog. Taking a couple breaths. From here, bring your gaze up in between your hands, bend your knees, step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Deep bend in the knees, roll up to standing. Arms come with you, hands meet. Small back bend, open the heart. Inhale. 
Exhale, the hands to heart center and back down to Tadasana. Lovely, let's do that on the other side. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fall down, forward fold. Step back with the right foot this time. Staying up on the back toe, left knee aligned over the ankle, feet, hips distance apart. Sweep the arms up, let the hands meet. Maybe your gaze comes up, maybe open the heart here, optional. Inhale. Exhale, lower down to this back knee. Bring the hands to heart center or bring them to rest on that left knee. Inhale, exhale, let's twist to the left side. Again, you can keep a hand resting and just reach that left arm back or both arms can come out wide. Good. Let's lower this left hand down somewhere on this back leg. Scoop the right arm up and back. Open the heart, lift the gaze. Inhale, exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the front foot. Tuck the back toe under as you lift the knee off the ground. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, half lift, hands on shins. Neck in line with the spine, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. You can stay here in your forward fold. If you wanna take in vinyasa, Hands plant down in front of the feet. Step or jump back to a plank position. Inhale. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, make your way back to down dog. Taking some breaths here. gaze up in between the hands, bend the knees, step or jump the feet up behind the hands, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, roll up to standing, arms come with you, inhale, small back bend here, exhale, the hands to heart center, and back down at your sides as we come back to Tadasana. Good. Come back to the top of your mat. Let's get ready to move into our next sequence of poses. A nice flow coming up here. So we'll sweep the arms up again. Inhale. Exhale, dive down to a forward fold. Let's step back with the left foot and bring both hands on the inside of the right foot. Walk your right foot over towards the side of your mat. Coming to a lizard pose. Now if you need to lower the back knee down, that's totally fine. See if you can keep your chest lifted here. If you like, you can find some movement forward and back. Good. Now from here, we're going to transition into Skandasana on the left or side squat. So start to walk your hands over towards the left side of the mat, bending into the left knee, coming up on the right heel, trying to bring that left foot flat. Hands can rest on the ground or they can be at heart center. My weight tends to shift back, so I kind of like to bring my hands in front just to counter balance that. Good. From here, we'll transition into a crescent lunge towards the back of the room. So, bringing our left toes to face the back of the mat, pivoting up on the right toe, or pivoting up on the, um, that's right, pivoting up on the right toe, 
Then bring those feet to hips distance apart. Sweep the arms up, hands knee. Option here, or you can just keep the hands open. Good. From here, straighten this front knee, rotate the back heel down. Arms drop out wide. Reach forward with the left hand, lower it down to the ankle, the shin, or the ground as the right arm extends up. Come in a trikonasana here. Or triangle pose. Good. Take an inhale. Lift the arms, bring them out wide. Let both toes face the side of your mat, the left side. Then we're going to transition into warrior two. So right toes pivot towards the front of the mat, and we bend into this left knee. Align it over the ankle here. Check the alignment of the arms. Nice and strong down through the feet. Inhale. Exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the foot. And we'll step this left foot up to meet the right as we come to a forward fold. You can stay here, or we have the option to move through a vinyasa, planting those hands down in front of the feet. Step or jump back to plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's take a couple breaths here. Gaze up in between the hands. Bend the knees. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward full. Deep bend in the knees, roll up to standing. Arms come with you. Inhale. Small back bend here, maybe. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Down at your sides. Good. Let's move into that flow on the other side. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, dive down for a fold. Stepping back with the right foot. Bring those hands on the inside of the left foot. You can stay up on the back toe where the knee can come down as we come to our lizard pose. Lift the chest. Uh, let's transition into skandasana on the right leg. So starting to walk our hands towards the center as we bend into the right knee, bringing that right foot flat. And coming up on the left heel. Hands can come forward, hands can be at heart center. Uh, and then we will get ready to transition to our crescent lunge towards the back. So letting those right toes face the front of the mat, bring those feet to hips distance apart, bend into the right knee, sweep the arms up, maybe the hands meet. Good. Inhale, exhale, straighten this front knee, rotate the back heel down, arms drop out wide, inhale, Reach forward with the right hand, lower it down. Exhale, left arm extends up. For Chakanasana. Good. Take an inhale, bring those arms out wide. Both toes face the right side of your mat. Then pivot the left toes around to face the front. Bend it to the front knee. Come into warrior two. Check the alignment of the arms. Inhale. Exhale, windmill those hands down on either side of the front foot, pivoting up on the back toe. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold.
deep in the knees. From here, you can plant the hands down, step back and move through your vinyasa, or you can stand for it full. Inhale, vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Couple breaths. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees. Big toes together, knees wide. Float the hips back towards the heels as you extend the arms out in front for child's pose. From here, start to walk your hands over towards the right side of your mat. Just reaching to the side. Maybe the left hand comes on top of the right, melting back down into child's pose. Take an inhale, exhale, walk the hands over to the left. Right hand could come on top of the left, melt down in the child's pose on this side. Inhale, exhale, walk the hands back to center. Let's come up to a kneeling position. Getting ready to move into Ustrasana or Camel Pose. So let's bring the hips over the knees. And you can either grab those elbows behind you or you can rest the hands on the hips. Pressing the elbows towards each other. Push the hips forward. Let the head fall back. If you're comfortable in Ustrasana, feel free to take whichever variation you like. You can reach the arms behind you or reach the hands back towards the heels. Just do which version you prefer. Press the hips forward over the knees. Good. Inhale, exhale, gently come out, bend into the knees, sit the hips back, let the arms wrap around the legs for a child's pose. Gently come out of your child's pose. Let's do a strasana a couple more times. So again, you can grab the elbows. Hands can come to the hips, pressing the elbows towards each other. Or arms can extend out behind you. Press those hips forward. Lift through the chest. Let the head fall back. Exhale, come down to your child's pose again. Now 
let's do Ustrasana one last time. If it's getting to be a lot, you can skip this last one. Hands to come to hips, you can grab the elbows. If you have a different variation you prefer, totally free to take that pose. back, inhale, exhale, come down to child's pose, Good. let's inhale back up to a kneeling position and extend those legs out in front. Making sure on the sit bones. Flex the toes back towards the face. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, hinge at the hips. You can let those hands fall to either side of your legs. Trying to keep the spine nice and elongated. Just walking forward till you start to feel a stretch. Couple more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Roll back up to a seated position. From here, take your hands, bring them a couple inches behind you. Fingertips facing the front of your mat. And you're just going to Press into the hands, engage the shoulders, kind of lifting the chest. You're lifting ever so slightly off the ground. You probably don't come off the ground at all for this, but you feel that energy pulling up. Let the head fall back. And if you like, you can lift the hips. Moving from staff pose into reverse plank. Inhale, exhale, lower down. If the hips were lifted, coming back to a seat. We'll bend the knees, bring the feet flat. Scoot the hips close to the heels. Make your way down to your back, hugging the knees into the chest. Rock side to side here. Inhale, exhale, release the knees, bring the feet flat, and let the feet come on the edges of your mat. We're gonna do a couple windshield wipers. So just let the knees fall from one side to the other. Trying to keep those shoulders on the ground. And then from here, we'll move into Shavasana. So you can either let your feet rest towards the edges of your mat, palms facing outward. If you would like a little more to open the sacral chakra, you can come to recline bound angle. Knees are out wide, bottoms of the feet are together. And of course, you always have the option to come to a seat. Come back to our breath. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And 
and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back to your natural breath again. Allowing your body to fully relax. And while you're here, I'll read some full moon and Aquarius affirmations to you. And you can repeat them silently to yourself. I am grateful for healthy relationships. I strive to be my best self. I speak and act with love. I hold value in my community. Take a deep inhale, breathing in those affirmations. And exhale. When you're ready, roll over onto your right side using your arm as a pillow. Taking a moment here for a reflection on your practice, on those affirmations, and a moment for gratitude. Gratitude towards the self for doing something good for your mind and your body and your spirit today. When you're ready, roll up to a comfortable seat. And together we'll sweep the arms up. Inhale, let the hands meet. Exhale the hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me for this full moon in Aquarius practice. I hope you are able to get what you need out of this practice and harness the energies of the full moon. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box about becoming a member of my channel and also like, share, and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.